this fight, I'm going to be training every single day to do this fight and I'm also going to see if I can document the fight as well. The fight is on the 14th of April 2018, that's what's happening, I've got a boxing fight coming up, I'm going to train hard for it. So uh, I've done my boxing, done the training, the eight weeks training, it's been absolutely amazing, loved every minute of it and uh, I've come a fair bit, I feel like it's um, it's been a really good experience from the start to the end and uh, it's been, been a good challenge, it's tested me physically and emotionally through the entire experience which was a really big life challenge for me so yeah I'm going to speak to you all now about everything that went on
I started off um, signing up to it, and uh, that was I was nervous at the start of it. I was like, right, do I want to do it? Do I want to do it? And then I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. So I signed up. <clears throat> I went on and uh, did the first session, and the first session killed me. It literally killed me off. It pulled all my groin, which I thought was going to be an issue, because uh, it hasn't still hasn't healed. Like what, nine, ten weeks down the line, still not healed. Well, the first session really killed me off. It was death. And uh, what we did on it was all fitness. We didn't stretch. We did warm up at the start. It just jumped straight into it, and it hurt a lot. Second session was a bit better. We was uh, doing a bit of like movement, a bit of the punch inside, and I enjoyed it. And uh, got to see how uh, people moved. Got to see what people was like. And that was good. It's always fun working with them. That's great. today.
done now with my first time with uh, medicine ball and wrist weights. So yeah, it hurts, but it's getting what I need done, really. Ow. And uh, every other day I'll skip in in my back garden for at least two hours doing stuff just to get my calves going and see if I get my cardio up. And uh, the meals that I was eating was like, I had to eat for half an hour before I could even speak to my mum because it was literally like, oh, I want fun. sessions which um, my good friend Ben who filmed everything for me so massive shout out to him <clears throat> he uh, was there <clears throat> at White Collar filming them bits and like everything else but there were some sessions that he couldn't get to which was quite disappointing because there was one session where I had a really crap session and uh, it knocked my tooth out and bruised on my face and I was just so emotional. I, that, that day, I was so low. Like, through that whole experience, I've never ever felt that low in my like time of anything because it just got me so much. Like, all the hard work that I was putting in, I felt so, like disappointed in myself, the fact that that session really put me down and made me think to myself what I'm doing right now is completely pointless and there's no point in me doing it. <clears throat> but I took it all as a positive. The next day I woke up and I thought to myself, I've earned these bruises, I have earned my chip tooth because while I was doing that, everybody else was probably at home eating junk food, sitting on the couch, playing games, scrolling through stuff, doing nothing with themselves, just wasting it all away. While I was out, I earned these bruises because I was training so hard for something that means a lot to me. And I proved myself that I can put myself through limits. And I've proved myself that I'm not a coward to do anything and push myself through any challenge. And that's the positive thoughts that I brought onto myself from that bad training session. Doing a load of sparring at uh, the white collar place as well, which was, that was always fun. I, liked, I loved sparring, it was always good fun.
set up in different places and uh, I always enjoyed it. <clears throat> Even at the bits where Ben couldn't film, it was always good and uh, I really enjoyed it. After we had finished doing all the sparring and stuff, we went on to more technical stuff and fitness and stuff like that. And on one of them, I wore my compression top and I'm never, ever wearing my compression top in that gym again because holy crap was it hot. I almost passed out with the exhaustion it got that hot in there. I usually do wear my compression top at my other gym but in that room because there's so many of us it just got so hot so exhausting and it hurt so much <laughs> that we got done for me. So a massive shout out to uh, Dragonfly for doing these. Uh, it's nothing too extreme but I've got my nickname on the side of some shorts that I already had laying about which is pretty cool. I'm really happy with it so yeah that name right there I mean no that name is gonna win tonight. Yeah. But um yeah day of the fight mum's been so really supportive for me she's making me some breakfast right now my girlfriend's been really supportive of me, she's doing nothing right now. And yeah, so tonight's the night. It's gonna be really good. Currently right now I have got my groin guard in just so I can be used to it, because I've barely worn it, so I may as well start today and great day to start it. But yeah, let's get my breakfast.
So we're going down from medical now, uh, just setting up the whole everything. So uh, due to boxing rules, we've got to do a medical test before and after the fight. So that's what's going on now. Yeah, what rules? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're in blue corner. Yeah. 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 Right, so I'm just going to pull that on your finger, and that's going to take the pulse rate and the oxygen levels, and I'm just going to blind you momentarily. Okay? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Any other medical issues? Good one, mate. Could have breathed in. Cut the side. Patient confidentiality. <laughs> It's a standard of fun. Makes it a bit better. It's yeah. sideways, it sticks out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the same, Eddie. Okay. Cool. That's the same with us. See you okay. straight after the fight. Cheers, mate. Right. <laughs> right. That's fair. Say so anybody medical. Just okay. to get it on as soon as you can. Right, so we've just done the medical. Yellow uh, band. So now, going back up. Don't know what's happening next. I think we're going to either chill out or we're going to do like a little warm up stretch down and stuff like that. Uh, yes, Captain. Yeah. So remember those lines. Now. He's true, gone. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
need to check them. <laughs> <laughs> Cell. Now the music is playing, we've got the hands done. We're so close, guys, so close. So I'm just going to have a little teaser to myself. I'm going to walk through, go into the ring. And, yeah, let's do it. <laughs>
on, it's him. Come on. That's my boy. Come on, lad. <coughs>
Shin. Right, so just finished the fight, uh, just had a shower, and yeah, Drew, you was a great fighter, you threw some really good shots at me, way tougher than I thought, but yeah, that's really it. Split decision, but yeah, that's that. That's boxing for you, so. At the end of it all, I got myself changed and dressed, and we uh, got a few pictures taken with the people there. And um, it was a good night, and then I went home, and it was. It was difficult to carry on with my day and everything like that because it's, it's a real big downer when you work so hard on something for it to just get crushed and not come true when you have a big dream and you want to do it great and it just doesn't happen. It's a massive down there, so yeah. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, like what I said, Drew was the better fighter, he deserves that win, he threw some really good shots on me. But um I've got a next big challenge coming up. Well no I haven't. See what the next big challenge is for me. But um I would love to fight again. I do want to fight again. There's a couple of people that I do want to fight, but doubt they would even put gloves on, never mind stepping inside of a ring and doing stuff like that. But uh, if I was to fight again, I, I would love to do it through white collar again because, you know, raising money for cancer is an amazing thing. But. So that if anybody out there wants to fight me, make a video, call me out, and we'll get something sorted out. If even if it means just like hiring a place out, or <coughs> even like speaking with people of the white collar bit and like all that stuff, but uh, even if it is through white collar. We will figure something out because I would love to do it again. It was a great experience, and yeah. But if you, if it's someone who's called me out has never done boxing before, then it'll be a good challenge. So if anyone wants to call me out, make a video, call us out, and stuff like that. So it'll be good. But yeah. Really hope you enjoyed this documentary. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's that. I'll catch you in my next video. But yeah. 
Just take this away. From, if you've taken something away from this documentary, take this. Right. I get told a lot about boxing, saying, oh yeah, it's big and hard and stuff like that. Like, because I do box, which I'm not, because if I was big and hard, I would have won. Right? But it's the fact that I'm not a coward. I got in that ring, I proved my point, that I can fight, that I have got the balls to do anything and push myself to my limits and further. So, it takes a lot of balls to do it and I gave, give everybody who joined White Collar, who does, who's done, done it, who's gone into a ring, gone into a fight, anything like that, I respect anybody and everybody that's done that, so big massive respect. So yeah, that's that for this video, really hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, more content, content will be coming out soon. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Peace.